So now we're going to learn learn a little bit about uh, about uh, uh, Saint Lucia's Day. Saint Lucia's Day. Today, that's what we're going to talk just a very little bit about Saint Lucia or Santa Lucia. So. I, I did a little homework on this, but I'm just going to read from the Encyclopedia Britannica about Santa Lucia. And this picture is really gross. There's a lot of confusing things going on here. A lot of confusing things. So anyway, so I'm just going to read from the Encyclopedia Britannica about Saint Lucia, Santa Lucia. St. Lucia's Day, festival of lights celebrated in Sweden and Norway in the Swedish-speaking areas of Finland. I don't know why I'm trying to sound like the Swedish chef. Uh, on December 13, in honor of St. Lucia uh, or St. Lucy, one of the earliest Christian martyrs, St. Lucia, was killed by the Romans in 304 CE because of her religious beliefs. And St. Lucia's Day is observed on Sunday, December 13th, 2020, which makes it tomorrow. Oh my gosh. And you know what? You know what's really fun? Is it marks the first day of the 12 days of Christmas. So the first day of the first of the 12 of the 12 days of Christmas uh, begins with a murder. Oh, that's not nice. That's not nice. Please don't, please don't start any holiday with a, with a murder or or any day actually don't start any day with a murder that's not that's not nice so don't do it but anyway a happy saint lucia's day to all of my scandinavian listeners and and watchers and viewers thank you very much mm -hmm. um uh yeah well, let's keep going um let's look at this picture oh my goodness this is a pretty Pretty rough picture, but this is a so it's a Scandinavian holiday, but it's, it says this is a statue in Italy. Italy. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, I think so. I think it's pretty amazing. Uh, in Scandinavian countries, each town elects its own St. Lucia. The festival begins. Oh, I hope it's safe. I really hope it's safe. Uh, each town uh, elects its own St. Lucia. The festival begins with a procession led by the St. Lucia, who is followed by young girls dressed in white and wearing lighted wreaths on their heads. And boys dressed in white pajama-like costumes singing traditional songs. The festival marks the beginning of the Christmas season in Scandinavia, and it is meant to bring hope and light during the darkest time of the year. Schools generally close around noon on the day of the festival so that families can prepare for the holiday. Families observe St. Lucia's Day in their homes in their homes by having one of their daughters, traditionally the oldest, dress in white and serve coffee and bake goods such as saffron and ginger to the other members of the family. These traditional foods are also given to visitors during the day. Oh, that is, that is really fun. In earlier centuries, the Norse celebrated the winter solstice with large bonfires meant to scare off evil spirits and to alter the course of the sun. After converting to Christianity some, sometime around 1000, the Norse incorporated the legend of St. Lucia into their celebration. The modern festive, festival of light combines both elements of both pagan and Christian traditions. And that's it. So, so here's an, some interesting things that I learned about St. Lucia's Day. Is that it is celebrated... Pretty much in every Catholic country, but not as not as a fixed holiday. It's just you know because every Catholic country they have their saints' days, um, but that they're not necessarily 
holidays. They don't observe the days. Observe, you know what that word is, observe. Which is different. Observe has different meanings. And so in this case, it's the more serious, more formal meaning of observe. Anyway, anyway, anyway.